Hi, first grade. Today we have a mystery reader. Let's find out who it is. Okay. <laughs> We're going to read The Princess and the Pea. Okay. Ready? By Hans Christian Andersen. There once was a young prince who loved going on adventures. He was good at finding treasure. He was very good at rescuing people. And he was very, very good at fighting dragons. But when the prince came back home, he felt sad. <clears throat> it, I, I wish I had someone to share mm -hmm. my adventures with. He sighed, said to himself. himself. One day he had an idea. I will find someone to marry, he cried. He asked his parents for help. They were the king and queen, after all. I want to get married. At last, they said. His parents were d delighted. Delighted. Well, help you find the perfect princess said the king the king and queen wrote to every princess in the world royal servants set off to deliver the invitations <clears throat> dozens of princesses came to the palace to meet the prince some of them came with lots of servants I'll read the next one. some came dripping with diamonds one even came in riding on an elephant. The prince tried to tell them about his adventures, but they were only interested in his treasures. They don't seem like real princesses to me, he sighed. Real princesses should Want excitement and adventure. Mm, that's not really true. The king and queen called their best inventors inventors to a meeting. When we need a test, the queen demanded to find a real princess. Oops. The inventors tried all sorts of different tests, but the one of their ideas worked, but none of their ideas worked. Then one inventor said, I know how to find a real princess. The prince stepped forward. How, he asked. Servants pulled back an inventor's enormous enormous sheet to reveal a very enormous bed. Unusual. Unusual bed with a tower. tower of mattresses. This is the finishing touch, said the inventor. She put a dried pea in the prince's hand. Okay. How will this help? Asked the prince, giving back the pea. A real princess notices everything around her, explained the inventor. She will be able to feel this pea through all these mattresses. The prince in Invent, invited, invite, invented more princesses to help to the palace, to the palace. 
but now no of them none of them passed his test the morning in the morning each of them declared what a comfortable bed mm, such a lovely sleep the prince felt sad again after a while the princesses stopped coming the prince seemed too hard to please the prince gave up hope too he thought he'd never find someone to marry then late one night Kaboom. Mm -hmm. Under crashed, lightning flashed, or and rain. rain fell in big fat drifts. What was that? Through the noise of the storm, the prince heard a thump on the door. A wet, shivering girl stood on the palace doorstep. I was caught in the storm, said the girl. My, sh may I shelter here tonight? The girl's sweet voice charmed the prince. He didn't notice her tangled hair and muddy clothes. You may stay from as long as you like, said the prince. As the girl warmed up, the prince told her all about his adventures. The girl listened to every word. All this talking made the prince feel sleepy. Soon he couldn't keep his eyes open. When the prince woke up, he was, done. He was alone. The girl had gone. That next morning, the prince stared gloomy at his breakfast. Why not? Why not you on? A, no, on another adventure. Go on uh, another adventure. Ask the queen. That will cheer cheer you up. The prince sighed. He didn't want to go on another adventure all alone. Just then, the girl walked in. The prince jumped up. Where have you been? He asked. After he fell asleep, I looked for a bed, she replied. The one I found was very tall, and I had to climb in it using a ladder. Oh, said the prince. Uh, Surprised. How, how did you sleep? Not very well, answered the girl. I think you need a new bed. That one has a hard bump in the middle. The king threw up his hands. The queen fell out of her chair. The prince's face turned pale as he stared at the girl. You're a real princess, he gasped. Now the princess looked surprised. How did you know? She asked when the prince told her about the pea. The princess stared and started to giggle. I've been looking for a real prince, she said. I have journeyed from place or from palace to palace looking for a brave prince, the princess explained. Everyone has turned me away except you. The real prince married the real princess the very next day. The prince and princess never stopped having adventures. They built a museum for all of their treasures they found. In the middle, they put the pea in a beautiful crystal case. It may still be there today. This is not a real story, so don't try to look. <laughs> That's it. So we had fun because we dressed up. If you hadn't noticed our comments, yes. you should do it too. Enjoy.
Nice job. Very nice job. Allison and Adeline, thank you for sharing that story with us. One of my favorites. I hope you enjoy it too. And if you would like to be a mystery reader, that would be great. Thanks again. <laughs>